All right. Hey, everyone. So let's see what's going on in the markets. And, of course, everyone's asked me, you know, Biden this, Biden that. It's a full-blown constitutional crisis. And, I mean, here's, a, here's, I think, the interesting point. He's not resigning. He's saying, I'm going to get out at the end of the election or in November, I mean, next election. I think he's a really, you know, not such a great person, and all he cares about is himself. And I could count count countless examples, but let's just talk about how it affects the markets. I think it's probably going to be negative because you know what? There's never been any proof over like that I know of. of do markets perform better under you know Democrats or Republicans? But markets don't like uncertainty. And if anyone really thinks the Democrats are going to go with, you know, President Harris, and, you know, she can't be any worse, right? So, all right, whatever. Let me go into the markets here. Let's just do a quick review of what we should watch this week. I mean, sometimes the markets are quiet, and boring, and that's when it's good to hang out on the sidelines. But sometimes the markets are making massive moves. And as traders, that's where we can profit. And this is one of these times. So let's just take a quick look at the sectors and let's see if we can, uh, you know, come up with any kind of practical insight. All right. I'm looking at something longer. All right. That's what we want to look at. So the S&P 500 uptrend is broken. Trend lines are not like support and resistance levels. I know it's easy to confuse them. Uh, to me, a trend line is a graphical illustration. Think about in the old days, right, when people used to, uh, you know, write down the chart patterns, like at the end of the day, you know, they were like, be like, oh, blah, blah, blah. So think about it. You're writing the chart pattern. Something's going up. All of a sudden, something goes sideways for, I don't know, whatever period, five, 10 days, whatever you're looking at, and it crosses this line, okay? It's not magical or mythical. It's... It's just a graphical illustration that, gee, you know, maybe the bears are taking over from the bulls. So it's like a it's like a shout out. It's like, yo, pay attention. Going up, going up, going up. Now, all of a sudden, maybe we're going down. So let's look. And, and it wouldn't be surprising. You know, I got to get the scale of my chart here better. Let's see what I could do here. I don't know. I don't like the way it looks, but but I'll figure it out before tomorrow morning. All right. So anyway, yeah. So pretty big move here. So pretty, uh, you yeah. know, I don't think this is just profit taking. I think we could see like a real trend, cha trend change here. So let's look at uh, our finance. All right. Sorry. Our tech sector. Wow. Ah, there we go. I figured it out. Thanks, everybody. So here's our tech sector, right? Now, there's probably a good chance that the tech sector, I would see, you know, I think there's going to be some more downside, but, and I think like in two or three weeks from now, it will be lower, but I think there's a really good chance that we get a bounce. I mean, of course we will. Just like when things go up too much, there's profit taking. Just like when things go down too much, there's profit taken on the short side. So levels that were resistance can become support. As we know, there's people who sold their, have been waiting ever since to buy their shares back if they can at break even. So if we get down there, we're going to have some, you know, remorseful sellers, places, and buyers. I think the most important thing to watch, and that's one of the, one of the things we always talk about here at our community, and please sign up for it. Different things are important to watch at different times, right? Now, frankly, as much as people talk about NVIDIA, from a technical point of view, in this period here, it was really kind of not important. Now, it is important. Why? You don't need to be a chart guru to see this. It's hanging out right at an important support level. So support is this large group of buyers. If the price goes below it, It'll tell us those buyers are out of the market. And look at this action. A red candle is one where the close is lower than the open. 
this is some negative action. It's like every morning this thing opens up, and by the end of the day, the seller's overpower. So if this support level breaks, and my suspicion is it will, we're going to be looking at some ideas on the downside. And as traders, it's like, yeah, whatever, man. We like downside. For the long run, we don't. But as traders, it's like when markets move down, they move down faster than they move up. So any chart is a technical analysis lesson if you look at it the right way. I mean, look at this. Outside reversal days, support levels, lower highs. Sign up, man, because this is what we talk about. You know, there's really no magical, mystical system that works, although a lot of retail investors think there is. It's just not how it works. Wow. Oh, look at this. Wow. Wow. So we got another important thing. I'm going to write this down. NVD. Usually I can remember this stuff, but. All right. So, so Microsoft and NVIDIA are at important levels. Now look at this. This is where a level that was resistance can become support. People sell, the market goes up. They're like, ah, I made a mistake. I'm going to buy if it goes back. Wow. So Microsoft and NVIDIA, crucial levels. Let's look at Apple because that's the third biggest stock in the tech sector. Well, you know, I don't see anything like, you know, dramatic or anything. But the short, you know, the short term support seems to have broken. All right. So NVIDIA and Microsoft are really pretty Pretty, you know, clearly the things to watch. Let's see here. Wow, look at the healthcare sector. Totally reversed. So healthcare breaks this, you know, resistance or the support here. NVIDIA, Microsoft, they start to break down. Let's look at the financials. Man, these guys are in free fall. They they got some more move to go. And I know a lot of you all. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. This is actually okay. We want to put up XLF. Uh, yeah, there we go. Man, look at that reversal pattern. Wow. Uh, all right. Anyone, anyway, everyone, thanks so much for checking in. Please come back tomorrow in the morning. We're going to be there. Let's let the markets tell us what to do. No one is smarter than the markets, but if we can interpret them and kind of agree with what the markets is saying that's where the profits come from